This is an explainer video on how to network and meet other participants at the Zero Project Conference 2024. You are now on the homepage of the Zero Project Conference 2024 conference platform. As always, navigate to the top right hand corner where you will be able to browse through agenda, speakers, participants, and organizations. Specifically, we'll look at two categories today speakers and participants. Under the Speakers tabs, you'll be able to browse through the speakers and click into respective profiles to learn more on their background, the organization they represent, their areas of activity, what they're looking for at the Zero Project Conference, and what they're also offering, as well as all of the sessions in which they will be speaking. Now, if you would like to particularly filter, browse, or identify participants from a certain country, region, or participants who have interest in specific fields, you'll want to navigate to the participants section. It is here that you'll be able to both message and to request meetings with speakers. Before we get started, it's important to navigate to the top right-hand corner where the handshake icon is located and to click on this handshake icon. It is here under the availability tab in the right hand column that you'll be able to make yourself available for meetings. The default setting is that you're not available for meetings, therefore you must activate this by toggling the button. Now you can designate during which times you would like to offer yourself up for meetings. Now I'm very excited about the Zero Project Conference 2024. Therefore, I want to meet with participants throughout all the three days of the conference. And therefore I will select Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as my availability. Now, if I go back to the participant section, I will notice that next to some participants who have also activated this function, a green plus button is located and placed. This allows me to request a meeting with this individual. I prefer to send them a message ahead of time, therefore I will use the messaging icon to let Maria Chiara Franco know that I would like to start a conversation and potentially also meet with her at the conference. She will then receive this message on her end and much like any other social media platform or conference platform, I'm able to follow my various conversations with the conference members using the conversation icon, which is located next to the handshake icon. Now let's say that me and Marie have had a very pleasant conversation and we're ready to schedule our meeting. Both Maria or myself can now schedule this meeting by clicking on the green plus button. This will request a meeting with Maria and I can designate both the date and time in which I would like this meeting to happen. The system automatically synchronizes your availabilities. In this case, it is suggested as Wednesday 11.15 to 11.30 being a good time that works for both of us. So now, I can send her the request and add potential additional notes or a message. I now see that this meeting request has been sent successfully. And also I can keep a tab on those meeting requests by going to the handshake icon and seeing my upcoming meetings, meeting requests that might have been canceled, as well as past meetings. Furthermore, in the messaging function, I now see that I've sent an additional message, the same one as I sent before, as I requested the meeting. So again, if you want to see where your messages are located in regards to messages to other participants, navigate to the messaging icon here. If you would like to see your upcoming meetings, navigate to the handshake icon over here. Now let's go through some scenarios as a zero project 
participant. Perhaps this is one of the first big international conferences you've attended, and you're just curious, who is on the ground? Who could I potentially meet? Participants and the participant section is a good place to start. It is here that I can filter according to countries. So let's say I would like to meet representatives from India. I can then either browse through and see who is attending from India, or I can further use the filters in the right-hand column scrolling down, saying that not only would I like to meet someone from India, but I would specifically like to meet someone from India who has expertise when it comes to the topic of education in emergencies. This then filters down the participants and I'm able to, again, take a look at these individuals, click on their profiles. If linked, also access their LinkedIn information or any other social media information they have provided. Now let's reset these functions and go through another scenario. Let's say I'm more broadly interested in the participants who are actively seeking out certain activities. So this could be participants specifically looking for networking, research cooperations, or more specifically licensing partnerships. By clicking on licensing partnerships, I can now understand who of the currently 600 plus registrants is interested in finding out more and offering perhaps their products and services um, for licensing agreements. I can now reset this function again and look for participants who might be offering something in return, such as financing or investment. By clicking on this, I'm able to see the 31 individuals right now who are offering finance and investment to those on the ground at the Zero Project Conference 2024. Naturally, these numbers will grow as we get closer to the conference, where we expect well over 1,000 participants from all continents to join us on the ground in Vienna, Austria.